Hello? Look at your dick. I can't, I, well, I can't hear you properly. Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm just gonna be looking at the Zipstick joystick. It belongs to a friend and he gave me a call last week. Well, when he called me, I'll tell you what he said. Well, I thought he said, can you take a look at my dick? And I was like, what the fuck? The phone was a bit crackly. He said, can you have a look at my joystick? So I said, bring it round, what's going on with it? What he's saying is, is when he plugs it in, it just basically wants to go to the right and he tries to counteract it going left and he sort of like gets no joy. So I'm assuming it's only micro switches to be honest with you. I can't see if there could possibly be a wiring fault in there, I don't know. I mean, these things don't really develop wiring faults apart from the front here usually like sort of snap and uh, you've got to sort of like cut it and feed it back in. So yeah, basically today's video is just going to be about opening this up and taking a look inside and see what needs doing. I have got quite a few micro switches in this drawer actually, so um, I think I think they're all new, I don't know. But anyway, I'll have a look anyway. So onto the floor we go, and let's have a look inside this joystick. <laughs> right, so just before we get onto the uh, opening up of it, uh, see so it's Christmas, let's have RoboCod. Now I'm gonna plug it in and I'm gonna show you what it's doing. Joystick extender. Right, so I'm not doing that on there you go. He's moving on his own. So you can't you can duck. to go and then it goes off, off screen so you can go up you can duck uh, that won't fire that won't fire also fire no so the problem is the right hand micro switch yeah right let's open this up and have a look right okay See, looks like two have already been swapped out. So what one is it? It's that one, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so it's this one here. That's the problematic one. Now, I do have some spares. Uh, let me see. Somewhere in the drawer. Right, I've got... Now, obviously they're double pronged, but in all honesty, it doesn't really matter because as long as you don't sort of like put them together, you're laughing. Same size, just use the top one, not the bottom one, and you are laughing. Right, okay, so the way I do this, now, as people know, I am not <clears throat> sort of, you know, I don't really do things the way they should be. So, where's my screwdriver? See, I've come well underprepared for this. It's in here somewhere. Let's have this one. Oops, dropped it on the floor. Nope, doesn't fit. Get that one out. Righty ho. 
So yeah, that one's sort of the same as well. Yeah, so it's the top one. Let's pull them off. Pull it off. Slot it out. Tell you what I'll do actually. I'll replace that one as well. Just to be symmetrical. What do I say top one? Yeah, I'll do. I mean, there is easier ways of doing this. If you're watching this now and you are a purist, please let your frustration be known. Oh, I can't believe he done that to a, to a poor micro switch. I can't believe the way he manhandled that, that micro switch. I'll tell you what, so I'll just clip it in there because I'm feeling quite impatient today. Secure. Let's see. What's that one in? Where that screw come from? Is it there? Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping this works anyway. I'm hoping this works. Pull this off. Well, I tell you what, actually, because I can't turn left, maybe there's a problem with this one as well. And I don't know what's happened with this in the past, but it has had some sort of um, micro switch swap out at some point. So we're looking at the bottom one here, and obviously the top one. Pull that off. Sometimes you might have to sort of just give it a bit of a little, you know, just to get your thing in. Yeah, it's a little bit tight that. Yeah. Basically you just crimp them back in with the pliers. Or whatever you call them, fucking things. Hopefully quick and easy fix this one. Shit. Um, that way in there. I'll tell you what, I'll cut and I'll come back when I've done it. Five minutes later. Right, okay. So I've took them two off. I've got these, I mean, to be honest with you, I really should have put them in, shouldn't I, to be honest with you, but never mind. I don't know if they work, I know they work, they're brand new. I'm a bit unsure about them to be honest. So let's have a clicky clicky. Yeah, that works. That works. And that works and that works. Let's see if it has solved the little problem. Right, apologies, I've had to sort of give my chair up. I've got a cat asleep in my chair. I move for five minutes and the little bastard jumps in and falls asleep. Wish I could do that. Right, we'll go back to Robocod. Um, change one, two. Houston, we have a problem. He's running on his own. So we go right, and he goes left. No, something's not right with this. See, when you go down and let go, you can just see it on the camera there. He seems to do a bit of a sprint. Right, okay, what we're going to have to do, I'm going to have to have the Amiga run, I think, while I open this up again and investigate further. 
Right, okay, let's get back on the table. Five minutes later. Right, well, that took longer than expected. I ended up having to get the fucking solder line out. I don't know what happened to it, but I think at some point someone swapped these out and they've sort of messed around the wire. No, I don't know, it's just weird. That was going left, that was going right. So it was the wrong way when you were pressing it. Fire buttons actually stopped working as well, so I had to solder the auto fire switch onto that micro switch. Um, I snapped two of the uh, spades that go onto the connectors, so I had to sort of solder that one and with that one. Hold on, no, that one, that one, the wires on there, that one on that one, I had to solder on. Chances are you don't need to swap them out for another 20, 30 years, and by that time, I think we'll all be dead. So, I'm going to put it back together and I'm going to give it a good test. Right, so welcome back. Lotus 2 is the game of choice now to test it. So, I'm only testing the menus as well. So, we've got down, up, left, right, and then all fire buttons work. And obviously, the also fireworks as well. That was, that was a weird one. I don't know where he's got it from, like, but as I say, right was left, left was right. Then right wouldn't work, and then left wouldn't work. Then the fire buttons wouldn't work. So it's just a case of, like, sort of rejigging the wiring. I had to get another zip stick out the box there to have a look at the wiring, but yeah, a bit of a strange one, that. See? Right, so let's play a Christmas themed Lotus map, or track, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's go for the kids. Enjoy. Pass it over like that because I can't you can't see what I'm doing. Fire to accelerate is my preferred choice. Actually, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Automatic gears. Alright, be warm. The skids and bing again, away we go. Jingle bells, Batman smells. Robins flew away. Uncle Billy's lost his willy on the motorway. Hey, hey. Tell you what, playing Lotus this close is not good for the owl's eyeballs. One of my favourite tracks, mainly because it snows and it's Christmassy themed, should we say? Checkpoint. Yeah. That worked. That works as it should. One thing he did say to me, which I was kind of hoping I wasn't going to fix it, was we've been watching Games Master lately, and <clears throat> if you're from the UK and you watch Games Master, you will know that if you win a challenge, you get the golden joystick. And I said to him, Do you know what? I've never seen a golden zip stick. He said, If it doesn't work, keep hold of it. Take all the guts out of it and spray it gold. So kind of a, a bit gutter that I fixed it to be honest. So then um, maybe that'll be one for the future video that. And I'll do loads of videos on YouTube about making a golden joystick, but I've got a case there that would fit a zip stick perfectly. Well up the wires of course. So yeah. Just been watching games last late and it's got me in the mood for you know bit of nostalgia. The golden joystick, I think originally wasn't a quick shot too. But uh, yeah, it can be the, the golden lipstick one. You know what? I didn't really want to play this but I've done quite well on it. Mm. 
Okay. Ah, well. Righty oh. Cheers for watching as always, and I'll catch you in the next video. Right, so just before I leave you, the other side of where I've just been sitting there has kind of gone all Christmas themed. I've got the Amiga 600 out the box because I plan to do a video on some floppy disks that I've got. About two or three boxes full. Uh, Christmas tree there. If you're familiar with Neto when it was in the UK. There's my little Neto badge from when I worked there. There's a Lemming Losses umbrella. Some Kevin the Carrots. Could do quite like Aldi. Pac-Man. What that's got to do with Christmas, I don't know. The Lemmings do fit in because obviously Christmas Lemmings, holiday Lemmings. Uh, I've got the Mark II CM8833, is it? 883? Yeah, I've got that monitor out the box, just sort of like, you know, just to basically put it on display, to be honest with you. And a few other little bits of um, stuff, little radio uh, TV I got there from a game, gaming event. Some uh, 3D printed sides by Peter Biggs. And basically just me lappy and my little workstation there, my videos and just sort of like... You know, you've seen the rest anyway if I post pictures up on Facebook like so. And then there's my main sort of Amiga area. And then obviously here I've got some old relics from the past. Get down a bit there. And then here it's just, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but it's sort of under construction. Yep. And then that one there, Zool. Uh, and then just back to future. And my favourite Spectrum game hiding away there, a Renegade. Nice shooting, sir. What's your name? Siri! <laughs>